Las Vegas. Where every morning they turn the neons off, just to give the sun a chance to shine. I'm Michael Lanyard. I was looking for a guy named Nick Kohler. Why? Well, everybody has a business. Mine is people in trouble. But finding someone here is not only a matter of where to look, but when. Every hour, 24 hours a day, is New Year's Eve. I turned the town inside out. I asked a lot of questions. I was about to call it a bad job when I ran into Ace Held, an old friend from way back. I figured he was the one man who would have the answer. It's good to see you again, Ace. It's good to see you, Michael. See what I mean? How long you been in this town? Two years, Lanyon. I haven't seen you since the Miami days. Understand? What are you doing in Las Vegas? Getting a little sunshine? You can get anything you want here. See what I mean? Did you ever hear of a man named Nick Cola? I think he comes in here now and then. I can't be sure. You understand? See what I mean? If you see him, will you tell him I'm looking for him? Yeah. I'll give him this. I'm staying at the Sands. Do you understand? See what I mean? I started yesterday when I arrived in Las Vegas for what I thought would be a vacation. That's what I told my welcoming committee, the Las Vegas police. Joe DiCarlo. That's right. I haven't seen you since... Uh, Two years ago. When I was last here. I remember it very well. How'd you ever get mixed up in a deal like that? Well, I try and mind my own business. Sucker for people, huh? What are you doing in Las Vegas? Get some sun, see the shows. We don't like trouble here, Lanyon. If you want to have some laughs, okay. I don't like trouble either. Stay in line. That can work both ways. I checked into the sands and settled down to enjoy myself. There are lots of ways to enjoy yourself in Las Vegas. There's no law that says you have to gamble. Hold it a minute. Taxi? Why not? Her name was Dina Lane. Las Vegas looked worthwhile. Four weeks ago. Four more to go. Divorce. Mm hmm. Thanks for the drink. What's the rush? I'm a working girl. Singer. Why don't you drop into Dufino's? It's right down the road. Save the last song for me. Tonight. That's what makes horse races. Customers like it. Of course, they don't have to hear her three times a night. I never liked singers to begin with. Well, I'm glad you could make it. Is shop closed? Uh-huh. It'll take me a few minutes to change. I'll send you a drink to the dressing room. Thanks. I'll be right back. My name's Steber. San Francisco homicide. You've got the wrong man, Steber. I haven't been in San Francisco for three years. I know that, Lanyard, but I'd like to talk to you. Some other time. It'll only take a few minutes. I'm busy. Give me a call sometime. It can't wait, Lanyard. Sit down. I don't want to talk here. Let's go over to my table. Five minutes, huh? 
Well, you may have read about it. No, thanks. A murder in San Francisco. A man named Rudy Tosh. Never heard of him. Somebody's gonna get tagged for it. I doubt. I think I found him. Who? The man who killed Tosh. He's here in Vegas somewhere, going under the name of Nick Kohler. I've got a great idea for you. Arrest him. He isn't guilty. Well, make up your mind. Clear him. Well, I could if he'd go back voluntarily, but if he has to be extradited, it'd look bad with the jury. You have a problem. Wait a minute, Leonard. I need your help. If I go to him, I've got to arrest him. If you go to him, you can talk to him. What do I talk about? You've got to convince him to go back to San Francisco and turn himself in. He'll have a chance then with a jury. Okay, so someone he talks to him. You stand a better chance with the jury. Why pick on me? Well, I know you by reputation. I figured I could trust you. Not only that, this guy isn't easy to talk to. It'll take somebody like you to handle it. Cop doesn't make a lot of money. I don't want your money. I'm in a spotlight, you What do you mean? Well, this guy, Kohler. Uh, it's personal. What's all the mystery about? He's my brother. Give me a call tomorrow. I was hoping we could work something out tonight. We'll see. The same? Yeah. Didn't she come out yet? She hung around for a couple minutes, then took off. Any message? I don't listen to her anymore. Night after night. I got a mental block against her. Just tell me what she said. Well, she probably got tired of waiting and took off. Believe me, you're better off. She probably would have sung another song for you. You and your brother. That was why I was looking for Nick Kohler. I knew that Ace would deliver my message. You must be Nicola. Ace Hell told me you were looking for me. Yeah. Cassie. What do you want to see me about? Let's go someplace where we can talk. Huh? Look, I don't want to go anywhere, not until I know what this is all about. You're a problem. No, I'm still in the dark. I'll clear it for you. I know why you're here. You're making a mistake. Look, I know what you're going to tell me. I know who sent you. I've heard it all a hundred times. Just not interested. Steber was right. He was a difficult guy to talk to. When I checked back with Ace Hell, he told me that he'd cashed a few checks for Cola. As a result, he knew where Cola was staying. I rented a car that night and took off for the Painted Desert Inn. The inn was about 30 miles north of Las Vegas, off Highway 91. I wasn't surprised that Nicola lived that far out of town. Hello, Nick. Look, I, I told you I don't want to talk to you. Sit on. All right. Say it and get out. You're going back to San Francisco. What makes you so sure? You're going back. Do you want to do it the easy or the hard way? Sorry, Nick. I didn't want to do that. Why don't you get smart, Nick? You can't beat a murder rap this way. Steve thinks you're innocent. If you go back, he can clear you.
He had a split lip where I'd belted him, and a broken head where somebody had sapped him. Whoever done it panicked a little, but the job got done. Lanyard? Why do you make it so tough for us? I get a little sensitive when I'm accused of murder. I'm not saying you killed this guy. And I'm not saying you didn't. But you could help us out if you wanted to. You know what a problem we've got here. Gambling's a privilege. And we gotta protect that privilege. Look at the spot we're in. I'm in a spot too. I agree. But you could have set Kohler up to be killed. Yes, I could have. But it wouldn't add up. Well, no, it adds up to me. I think he killed him. Did he take us for that theory? No. I'll be around. Do that. Don't go very far. His class dismissed. School was out, but it was only recess. I ducked to Carla, who was on my tail two minutes after I was released. Steve was the only guy I wanted to see, and I wanted to see him bad. Where's Steve? I'm afraid you have the wrong room. This is room 31, isn't it? Yeah. Where is he? Come in. Make yourself at home. When's he coming back? Now, when did he leave? I checked him this morning at 10. What room is Steve? He was in room 31. He checked out last night. Thanks. That's fine, just fine. Oh, I'm Lee. Lee Simpson. Make yourself comfortable. I think I heard you say your name was Bill. No? Harold? Can I get you a drink? Uh -huh. Thanks. Give me long distance. Long distance? I want to speak to Inspector Connolly, San Francisco Police Department. Collect. Your number, please. This is 6730. Mike Lanyard. I'll wait. You know, I'll be here another six weeks. Anytime you want to make a phone call, just drop in. Connolly came on the phone, and what he told me should have surprised me. But it didn't. There was no Rudy Tosh murder, and Steve wasn't a cop. Thanks, Inspector. part of the service. Talk about your prize chumps. I was the biggest. A beautiful girl goes out of her way to pick me up at the pool. I go to Dofino's to keep a date with her, and instead I meet a guy who turns out to be a phony cop. And while I'm listening to his story, she takes a powder. It took a little time to round up the information I wanted, but when you know the right places, the answers are never too hard to find. Take it from me, it wasn't a pretty story. It was just one more step. Keep my date with Dina. After all, I was only 24 hours late. What happened to you last night? You might say I got involved. I didn't know what to think. We can make up for it tonight. I'm too tired. I was just going back to the hotel. I'll drive you home. The fresh air will do you good. All right, Michael. Why out here, Michael? won't work anymore, Dina. I know most of the answers. Just a matter of time. I don't understand, Michael. Believe me, I don't know what you're talking about. You told me you were getting divorced. That's true. 
You neglected to tell me your married name. What's your husband's name? Want some help? First name, Nick. Full name, Nicola. That's no secret. It's been in all the newspapers. Look, I'd rather not talk about it anymore. Poor Tina. You should have had Steber along for company. You're crazy. I told you I don't know anyone called Steber. You look lovely wearing black. I was divorcing Nick. I won't mourn for him. You're a liar. He was divorcing you. He found out about you and Steve, and you were through. No settlement, no alimony, nothing. Real convenient now. Instead of an ex-wife, you're a widow. You were to get nothing. Now you're worth a quarter of a million dollars. And a nice guy had to be murdered so you two heels could get it. Only it won't work. Now I know why you and Steve picked me for the fall. You thought my name would be a smokescreen. You forgot only a couple of things, baby. I don't like being pushed around. I don't like playing Patsy. Next to murder, I was your biggest mistake. to give any odds that Dina would make another mistake and panic. She and Steve had it their way too long. I told the operator to give the money to the bellboy and for him to call me. I was buying a little insurance. The insurance paid off. The bellboy reported that Dina made a date to meet Steve. Where was a better place for them to talk than in a crowded Boulder Dam? Guided tour will be leaving at exactly 2.30. Buy your ticket at the office on the right of the elevator. The Bureau of Reclamation maintains this service as well as tour leaders who will give explanatory lectures as you progress through the dam. You will be taken down 726.4 feet to the base of the dam. Please form your line to the right of the elevator. You won't need this. Only a chump would make a call through a hotel switchboard. Did you give Steve my message? I still don't know what you're talking about. You're not kidding anyone. Take a look for yourself. The girl has been wise for days. I didn't kill him, Michael. It was Steve right from the beginning. It was his idea, not mine. Don't be a fool, Michael. Forget Steeper. I'm the one with the money now. We can have a wonderful time, just you and I. Help me get away, Michael. We can go anywhere together. Where could we go? South America, anywhere. The elevator is now leading. I've been there. be joined by another tour. You are now down into the dam around 500 feet. We are at the head end of an inspection tunnel that leads toward the huge turbines which you will soon see. You may smoke if you wish. We only ask that you stay close together as we proceed through the dam. Hoover Dam is one of the world's largest producers of power. The power plant is a U-shaped structure built against the downstream toe of the dam. Installed in the power plant are 14 generators, rated at 82,500 kilowatts, another at 40,000 kilowatts, and two units at 2,400 kilowatts each.
Probably feel that way myself, but save something for the jury, huh? Okay, Steve, but you've had it. for a vacation. After all, they can't all want to collect life insurance. 